<laughs> yes, finally got the proof. It was pure genius. I mean, taking a picture of Rebecca Zemmers before it vanished into thin air. <laughs> now, this way we can prove that Rebecca really exists, mm -hmm. that her spirit never left the barn. Which means that Allison really is caught in the middle of some kind of freaky ghost story. Right, right. But, but, but who's this guy in the picture with Rebecca? I, I don't know, but he looks familiar. Hold on a second. I thought I recognized him right here. That's the poor guy Rebecca was convicted of killing. I told you everything would work out. I know. It's finally over. Kevin's back and everyone knows you're innocent. You're free, Allison. <laughs> I know. For the first time in a really long time, Everyone's, everyone's so happy. You know, Jamal's found a new love. Jack and Livy are back together, and Livy and I are friends again. And I am here with you. I know. And that's the best part. You worked your magic. You made everything right for me. I love you, Allison. Magic just follows. What do you mean, who's Allison? Is that who you are? No! Rafe, it's me, Livy. Come on, stop fooling I'm around. Sorry. My mind just went blank. Blank? Do you know who you are? Sure, Rafe Kovich, but I have no idea what's going on. How do I know you, and who's this Allison? Oh, my God. You don't know anything that's happened here in Port Charles? Port Charles. That's where I am. I've never heard of that place. You're dealing with me now, James, not some lovesick kid who wants to protect the woman he loves. Now, what is this double talk? Well, there's no double talk. It says right there that Rafe will be returned to Earth, but he will have no memory of his precious Allison or poor Charles. Rafe is going down there to be with Allison. You're telling me he doesn't recognize her? Oh, you call it a little tech. Oh, yeah, bloody thick idea. Fun. Yes. Well, I mean, if such a thing as true love does really exist. I mean, if two hearts are destined to find one another and all that romantic drivel, well, then Rafe, of course, will find his precious Alice and nothing in the world can stop him. It kills you to even say it, isn't it? Well, that love conquers all. Come on. You and I both know that's the product of greeting card poets and sappy bee movies. No. I do know that true soulmates don't need memories to make their connection. They just do. Your boy's head will turn at the first pretty face he sees. Come on, enough of this small talk. Let's get back to business. Now, you understand that any interference makes this contract null and void. Also says right here there's no interference by anybody. That includes you too, James. It's the lawyer. Let's kill all the lawyers. Let's kill them tonight. Keep your Weasley nose out of this, James. That's irrelevant. Old-fashioned greed and selfishness. That'll conquer hearts and flowers any day. Now, have you gotten to the burning in hell for eternity clause? No, I have not gotten to that yet. I'm reading this. Why don't you read along with me, James? You can read now, can't you? Ooh, ooh. It says here, <laughs> if the kids do get together, Rafe will then be allowed to lead a full human life on Earth, soul intact. That I'm going to sign. And here, too, where it says, if they do not find each other in the allotted time, I get to keep Rafe's nice, fluffy soul. And what else do I get, Eddie? 
What's my bonus? Mine, James. You get my soul, too. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is like Christmas. Oops. <laughs> Come on, sign on the old proverbial, and let's get this game started. Welcome to hell, Dad. Oh, I have a nice, warm place waiting for you. So you don't know anyone named Lucy or Jack or Kevin? Livy, but that's your name, right? Yeah. I, I told you. Nothing. I mean, I, I don't know if I got into an accident or, or what, but I, I don't remember a thing. OK, well, what do you know about angels? Excuse me? Angels. You know, they fly, they sing, they save people. Yeah, 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 angels. yeah, yeah I know. Um, well, I guess they're out there somewhere, you know, maybe, but I've never met one of you. No? Guess not. No. Mm -mm. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Um, where is this poor Charles place anyway? Uh, it says a small town in New York. America. Do you know how I got here? You've been living in Port Charles for a while now, and I, I found you lying here near these bushes, and I thought maybe you fell asleep or something. It's my connection to you. Actually, we're, um, we're really, really good friends. How can that be? I mean, I'm, I look in your face and I don't remember anything. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a, uh, it's a beautiful face. Hey, why don't you just give it time, OK? Yeah, time. <laughs> it's 1991, right? No, Rafe, it's, um, it's 2002. How can that be? How can I just lose 10 years of my life? When was the last time I saw you? A few weeks ago. I'm gonna lay down now. I don't feel so good. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, why don't, why don't we, we go somewhere before anyone sees you? Why? Well, because I don't want anyone to see you in this condition. You need some peace and quiet so you can recover your memory, OK? Good idea. Hey, hey, look at me. You trust me, right? Yeah. I mean, we're good friends, right? <laughs> so where are you going to take me? Well, somewhere you can be safe. Somewhere I can keep an eye on you. Let's go. Okay. Oh, this way. Okay. It's nice. You live here? No, actually, it belongs to a friend of mine, Ian Bornhart. Do you remember Ian? Huh. Yeah, look, it, it doesn't matter. I knew where he had the key. Right. So, what's a guy with no memory supposed to do? Do I look at pictures? Do I walk around town till somebody recognizes uh, me? No, 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 no. Look, Rafe, why don't you just sit down? Come on, sit. You sit down and relax, because you've obviously been through a terrible ordeal, and I am going to go get you some water, OK? OK. At least I have good taste in friends. Thanks. It's just all such a blur, you know? Ten years. Just... Hey, maybe, maybe you were hit by a car, or you fell and somehow got hurt. Or... Mm, no. No bruises, cuts, anything. And Why are you looking at me like I just fell out of the sky? I'm just surprised. 
That's all. This this whole thing is a real puzzle to me, you know? Yeah. Hey, do I have any family? Uh, no. Or if you were kind of a loner. Yeah, well, okay, at least that hasn't changed. This whole thing's giving me a huge headache. All right, um, I'm going to get you some aspirin then, okay? Right. Hey, well, what about this girl, Allison? How do I know her? Oh, I wouldn't let that happen. Yeah, but they called me a witch. All of the beautiful dreams and the love that I poured into those candles, and all of the love that came from you and me, they tried to turn that against me. How could I didn't even think you'd hurt anyone? Well, don't you think they're a little biased? Mm -hmm, I think. <laughs> Here's the thing. Anyone who spent more than, you know, five minutes with you would know what kind of person you are. You're kind and loving, and you have a beautiful heart. A heart that only belongs to you. All the bad stuff's over, Allison. We are together. I know. And you did it. You did the impossible. You found your way back to me. It's okay. It is all okay. Got it. Right here. Okay. So, this guy in the picture with Rebecca, he was like the town minister, right? Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't say too much more about him in the, in the articles. It's just, just the user that he's a good, decent man of the cloth. That's right, it. Right, right. Okay, I got an idea. Just lay these out and see if they help explain things. Okay. Tell us what happens. Okay. Okay, see here, here in the first shot, our preacher boy and Rebecca are on opposite sides of the barn. Right, and it looks like he's upset. Yeah, but here in the last shot, right here, the last picture, they're here by all the candle stuff. Right, and by the look on their faces, it looks like something's going down. You're right. You're right, there's a story. You think, you think, uh, you think he was spooked by her candles or something? Or maybe he just dropped in to give her some kind of big fire and brimstone lecture? I don't know, but you know what? There's another picture that needs to be developed. Maybe that'll help tell us what happens. Okay. Put that here. Yeah. What? Jamal, check this out. Wow. Now her minister's gone. Rebecca's bloody and she's holding his torn shirt. Well, I think she really did kill him, Jerry. Harry, take the picture before it fades oh, yeah. away. Gotcha. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Everything that happened to Rebecca in the past is exactly what's happening to Allison right now. Wow, this is freaking me out. Ever since she opened that candle shop, it parallels to what happened to Rebecca over 100 years ago. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you saying now that Allie really did kill Kevin? No, 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 I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that these pictures are telling a pretty ugly story. Oh, wait a second, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? I'm building me a bonfire, I'm burning this. 
I'm not letting Allison hang because she's cursed by her spooky old relative. No, Jamal, listen to me. This is just part of the story. Maybe there's more. In order to help Allison out, we have to figure out how this thing ends. Back to the scene of the crime, right? Back to Rebecca. Let's go. Done. No crossed fingers now. I've done everything with sonnet and blood. Give me a copy. I'm holding it to this. It's all yours. Let the games begin. You've had your head in the clouds for far too long, Eddie. You and your boy can't win. Don't count on it, James. That's what they all say. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I do love these two-for-one specials. You know, I really feel sorry for you. I got a great kid. I happens to love a woman who wants to save her. What do you got? His soul. Not yet, you don't. Soon. Let him have his fun, and then I'll present him with the bill. See you around the campfire, Eddie. There it is, son. Put my soul on the line for you. I'm counting on you, kid. Follow your heart, huh? Just uh, follow your heart. Why won't you answer my question? Who is this Allison, and what does she have to do with me? Look, I'm not trying to avoid your question, Rafe. I just don't want to throw too much on you at once. Now tell me. OK. Well, see, Allison and I used to be the best of friends, and then she got caught up in some really crazy stuff. Crazy what? Like, she's a real party girl? And no, it was a lot worse than that. She started fooling around with black magic. You mean she was some kind of witch? Yeah, but it was worse than that. She's in jail, Rafe. She murdered my father. God, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Why would she do something like that? Because my dad was trying to stop her. And he was trying to stop her from infecting the whole entire town with witchcraft, so she killed him. Allison was my friend, and then she turned into something evil, and she took my father away from me. She had no right. And I hope they lock her up and throw away the key. I hope this Allison person pays for what you did to your dad. Just us. To the very last moment. Yeah. To the, to the very last second. Yeah. And if this is all the time that we have, then it's all the time that I need. Time for what? To memorize you. Memorize your face. I will always be with you. I will always be with you. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, I will be there. You will always be my angel. Oh, Rafe. I loved dreaming about you. And I almost can't wait till I fall asleep again because I, f I feel like I might be able to see you again. But it's getting harder to wake up these days. Because I reach over and I check to see if you're there and, and you're not. And it just reminds me that, that you are gone and you're not coming back. And I and I I try to remember everything that you said to me, all of your words, but I really feel like they're fading fast. And sometimes I I feel like you're close to me. You know, you're really close to me, like, like tonight. Then I remember that it's just a dream. It's just a dream and you're not, you're not really there. I just wish that you were here. 
I wish that you were really here. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. Port Charles. Call it witchcraft, black magic, whatever you want, but it's true. That candle put a spell on you. I do happen to believe that Rebecca knows where Kevin is. Jack here found a way to prove that Rebecca was here. Did you miss any of Poor Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Poor Charles episodes, Saturday at 4, followed by Soap Center. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy. Next, catch up with today's soap, starting with All My Children, followed by One Life to Live. Then don't miss General Hospital, right here on SoapNet. De la Joya.